is Coach Roach is in the building. Freddie Roach is the Hall of Famer. We are less than one month away from all things Pacquiao, Spence, Fox pay-per-view, and the return of your great student after a few years off at 42. Man, he's not stopping here, Freddie. Did you want him to take this fight, though? This offers some big-time danger. What was in your thought process? Uh, you know, um, I, I knew he was going to fight again. We're looking for the best opponents out there. I actually picked Mikey Garcia. I thought he was a better fight. But then when he picked uh, Spence, I, I called him up and said, congratulations. I, uh, you, you're fighting a real fight. And uh, uh, I love real fights in boxing because we need more of this stuff and no more of these uh, uh, you know, actors that are famous for whatever they do. But the thing is, uh, two really good fighters going at it. Uh, I can't wait. Freddie, how do you explain Manny's incredible longevity? 26 years in the game, but you've been around this game a long time. Very rare can a guy keep his speed so late in his career. I mean, is, is it a freak of nature type thing with Manny? Yeah, a little bit, you know, because his speed and his power and his work ethic are, are really, really, really great. It's still great. He, he trains really hard every day, and he has really great footwork. And, uh, you know, his footwork is a, uh, one of the key elements of winning this fight because, uh, you know, uh, Spence is a little bit slow on his feet, a little bit flat-footed, and I think we can outbox him, and I think we'll, but we got to be in and out. We can't stay in the pocket. We can't trade with him. He is a better pump puncher at 147, of course. And uh, I'm waiting for Manny to knock a welterweight out, though, because I've been waiting for a long time. You have been. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, you've been saying every yeah, fight, yeah. I think this is the one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is, this is it. And uh, uh, But you know what? I do see, like, I think Manny might run for president uh, after a win here. And um, I really think that you, I think it's a good idea. I don't know. I'm not right. a politician. Look, but if we had I any doubt. And his title. It's very fair. Very fair. If we had any doubt about Manny at this age, you know, a couple of years back against Keith Thurman, obviously he, he was incredible. So having the two years off since then, like most people are going to think that's all a negative. Is there any positive in that in your, from your perspective and taking the time off? Yeah, I think it's all positive because it, it keeps him working out. It keeps him sending tapes to me to, to overlook his workouts and discuss what he needs to work on. And, uh, you know, between boxing and, and basketball, uh, he plays both sports every day. And uh, uh, then he's a senator. I like three times, uh, this week, you know, we had to change training times because he had to do some Senate work and, and so forth. And uh, But when he gets back in the gym, he's 100% ready to go. And uh, I, lo I love that about Pacquiao. And I'm happy he's fighting a real fight because, again, I think boxing needs this. This is two real good fighters going at it. You know, and uh, the best man will win, you know. Uh, at the press conference, Spence was very respectful, a very nice guy. And, uh, but, you know, they, they're both really nice and so forth. But when that bell rings, there's going to be no nice guys. Uh, Freddie, I don't expect you can give me a lot of details on this pending legal case, but Pacquiao's ex-management team is saying they're going to try to block this fight. Paradigm Sports, Audi Atar. Do you think there's any chance that this fight doesn't go off uh, next month? Um, I, I don't think so. I mean, I've heard rumors about, about uh, these people and so forth, but uh, during training camp, we're training 100% getting ready for this fight, and uh, I, I don't think they're for real. I, I don't, I, you know, I, um, they, I haven't seen any lawyers or lawsuits here. <laughs> Fair point. All right. We'll see how that all plays out. You mentioned uh, Manny's work ethic is just otherworldly and it's a big part of his longevity. Do you think we could get Boo Boy on some type of fitness plan, Freddie? Because, you know, he's, he's getting a little robust. I'm not going to judge him, Freddie, but, but you know, do you ever go, hey, Boo Boy, man, maybe, maybe we can get on the treadmill here together. What, what do you yeah, got? I, I, I would like to see Boo Boy lose the way to but the funny thing is, like, we're, uh, I'm working in the corner one time, and I told Manny not to go to the ropes. 
And then uh, I look over and Bubba's crying. I said, Bubba, why are you crying? He says, you told him not to go to the ropes and he's going to the ropes. And man, he comes to the corner and says, Bubba, stop crying. <laughs> and uh, Bubba is just a very emotional person and so forth. And uh, he, you know, he is my number one assistant and so forth. And he knows uh, how to give me a good massage and so forth. So uh, All right. I'm going to leave, it, I'm gonna leave it at that. Very valuable skill. I accept that. Uh, you are, of course, sitting in the world famous wild card boxing club, the gym you built, you know, almost by hand. But Freddie, outside of adding a few rooms, you've kept the charm of the neighborhood gym feel to wild card. Have you ever like what has stopped you from like buying a new building and putting all state of the art things? You still have like the old school feel. Is that what you prefer? I, I do like the old school feel. I mean, gym dues are still five bucks a day. And, uh, you know, I want everybody uh, to be able to afford to come to the gym. And, uh, you know, but, but already, I mean, at 7.30 this morning, I had three people saying, can I come in and see Manny Pacquiao? I said, it's 7.30 in the morning. I, he's not here yet. <laughs> I said, if you want to go see Manny, he's running up, he's running up the hills over there. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, it's funny how people come in at all times, and we'll have a thousand people in the parking lot by the time Andy gets here today. And it's crowd control is somewhat difficult, but I had to hire two police officers in uniforms wow. to, do, to do a good job. And, uh, you know, Manny's is very, very popular. And, uh, you know, the thing is, uh, he's still getting ready for the fight. Uh, I, I, I think I got rid of one of my sparring partners uh, yesterday because uh, I, I, I needed a better, a better style towards our opponent. So I've got a kid from Chicago who just came in and he's 18 and 0 and he wants to box with Manny Pacquiao. I want to use him a little bit as uh, maybe a confidence builder for, one, <laughs> for Manny, but, uh, you know, but I hope, the, I, I hope the kid does well in his first day of sparring. He's only been here for four days, but, but he, he says, can I box a Pacquiao? I said, yeah, no problem. Because uh, he, he's tough. tall, he has, a, he has a stance of our opponent, and uh, I think he's going to be good work, but we'll see. All right, all right. Uh, Freddie, you're at a, a, a point in your Hall of Fame career where you still got young fighters. Yes, you got the celebrity fighters like Manny. You, you were great with Miguel Cotto, but you're still always getting these young kids. Do you believe the next – like Manny Pacquiao could walk into your gym like Manny famously did, you know, 20 years ago, whatever the date was. Is that still, po is it still in your mind that like the next kid that comes through could be the next big thing? I always think that because like when, when someone asks me, why did you open the gym? I said, you never know when the next Muhammad Ali is going to walk through your door. And then a week later, Muhammad Ali walked in and says, can I work out here? <laughs> it was unbelievable. And he stayed for five or six hours. But then about a month later, Manny Pacquiao walks through my doors and I says, here's my, that's my Muhammad Ali. And you know what? There's only one of a kind. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see another Manny Pacquiao coming through. I see some good fighters though, and I see some guys that can win world titles, but not eight world titles. I mean, I would love for that to happen, of course, but I just don't think it's possible. Uh, look at this twilight of Manny's career has already featured an Adrian Broner pay-per-view fight, Keith Thurman, now Errol Spence. Like, I, I know you can't really answer this question until you see Manny look old, but how much longer do you want Manny to continue to chase the big names? Cause Floyd's still lingering, but you know, Freddie, he's, he's facing YouTubers, right? Manny's taking mm -hmm. on the very best. How much longer do you think he can do this? Um, you know, this might be it. I mean, uh, I kind of, I, I, I keep telling Manny, I said, Manny, I said, yo, when you retire, I'm going to retire. And uh, so, I, I mean, the thing is, uh, um, this could be, uh, this could be our last fight, but I, I still feel that somewhere inside, because he wants to run for president, but he, I'll never say that to me, but I think he wants to defend the title as president of the Philippines. And that would be, <laughs> that, I would love that. Yeah, I, I, I would tell him to, to do that and so forth. But, uh, you know, politics, we kind of stay away from. So, um, you know, but I, I, I think Manny's that good. To, maybe one more, maybe one more. 
Uh, Freddie, you saw, what was it, four years ago by this point, when, when Manny fought Jeff Horn, it was, it was a night that was controversial, but the narrative that came out of there was like, okay, finally Manny looks to be over the hill. Like, he has redeemed himself from that night time and again. So when you look back at that night in Australia, what went wrong from the standpoint that Manny almost looked human in there against, against Horn? Yeah, you know, he, he, he was sick going into that fight. He didn't feel well. Um, he, it, was, it was just a bad night. And, you know, traveling all the way to Australia, I've traveled there a couple of times. It's a long trip and so forth. And the jet lag just got to him too much. But you know these, these things do happen, and he, and he had a bad night. And the thing is, you know, like to win this fight, we have to be on a good night, you know. And the thing is, the way Manny's working and the way he's dedicated, and with the new sparring partners coming in, I think I'm gonna get maybe a confidence build out, out, out of one, and possibly a guy more like our opponent, uh, you know, because Spence is, you know. He is a good puncher. He hits hard. He's flat-footed, though, and uh, I think he, I think Manny's in and out with motion can, can give him a lot of trouble. And uh, I'm I'm working on that quite a bit, his footwork and so forth. And you know, and his endurance is is great. And he's still he's still there. And we will box today, and we'll go eight rounds, and um, hopefully every 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 sparring session from here on in gets better and better because we're we're maybe a little bit off track right now because of the style of the sparring partners that I hired. I think I hired one good guy and one okay guy. Okay. Is there anything about Spence's game that scares you specifically? No, not really. Uh, I think Thurman is better than Spence, to be honest with you. Whoa. Um, Whoa, why, why would you say that? Uh, I watched tape on both guys. I studied them. I, I know both of those guys very, very well. And uh, just oh, overall, I just think he's a better, a better fighter. And I told Manny, I said, go put this guy out on his ass in the first round and your momentum will head, your, it will head your way. And so, uh, you know, we are going to start fast and we're, we're, in, we're in shape to go 12 hard, hard rounds and he better be ready for, for a 12 round fight. Uh, do you think Manny gets enough credit for having a one of the better chins that we've seen in the history of the sport? Uh, you know, he has a, he has a great chin and so forth, but he's been knocked out before. And, uh, you know, he's one of those guys. Yeah, like, sometimes, uh, you know, a guy gets knocked out hard. Like, with that one day when he get knocked out and he was laying down on the canvas, like, for too long, and I was starting to worry. And, and um, so when I, I got him back in the dressing room, I started asking him questions and like just testing where he's at and so forth. So I asked him, I said, hey, Manny, who do you want to go in the ambulance to the hospital, me or your wife? And he says, my wife. I said, okay. I says, uh, the ambulance is ready. They're going to take him, check you out and so forth. He said, I, he says, I can't go there yet. I says, why? He says, I got to go to the bathroom first and wash this blood off my face. I says, how do you know you have blood on your face? He says, I can feel it, Freddie. He says, and I, I, said, I, uh, I, I said, when I, when I asked that question, I felt so good at that answer that he's coherent. He knows where he's at. He, he said, Freddie, he said, people get knocked out in, in this game all the time. It's part of the sport. He says, put me in with the best opponent you can next because I don't want just anybody. I want fights that mean something. So that's why when he picked this a guy to fight. I called him up and congratulated him right away. And he he will be ready for, for Spence. He will be ready. This is uh this is an incredible career and legacy for Manny that you've been such a big part of. Uh, but as a trainer, Freddie, do you feel like you've had one rival, like one great rivalry, whether it be a, a fighter or another trainer that you look back, you're like, that was the great rival of my my training career. I think like Marvin might be my great rival right now. Uh, Marvin's my number one guy. He's upstairs working, and uh, um, you know it's funny because I taught Mar I taught him how to wrap, wrap hands, and uh, he wraps hands so well now that I lost my job. <laughs> 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 People ask him to wrap hands now; they don't ask me anymore. 
So, but I, I don't have to worry about that with Pacquiao because Pacquiao wraps his own hands. And, I, and he's one of the best rappers out there too. But wow. uh, it's, it, I love when I, when I can teach somebody to be good enough to take over my job because uh, I'm 61 now and um, I'm getting old too. So we'll see. Shout out to Marvin Simodio. I thought you were going to say Robert Garcia or maybe Floyd as a fighter. But hey, Freddie, you always wanted a Floyd Manny rematch. I, 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 I trained Floyd when he was five years old. That's why when he comes in, when he comes in my gym, he says, "Hi, Mr. Roach. He's very polite. He's a good guy. Uh, you know, he has a lot of respect for me because I think his dad was in jail at that time, and his, and Roger was just an asshole and wouldn't even pay attention to him. So I remember being in the gym and this little kid over there. I used to go help him on the mitts and so forth. And he, he still calls me. You know, he says, "Thank you, Mr. Roach. He's a nice guy. Wow. I mean, sometimes you get a camera on him." He's a little bit loud and so forth, but he 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 knows how to sell though, you know. But I still would love to fight him one more time. Uh, that fight was pretty close, and I know Manny can do a lot better with with with, with that shoulders are completely healed now. And uh, I would love to get that one more time. Now, why didn't we see that again? It seemed like there's so much money to be made. It seemed to be automatic that we would see a rematch. He wouldn't come to the table. He won't even negotiate with us. No. He knows that fight was in that fight. Well, well, actually, you watch that fight with no sound. It's a pretty close fight. I mean, he won, but it was clear it wasn't really one sided. It was it was back and forth for, for a couple rounds. Uh, is there any fight because you're such a competitor, Freddie? So, as a trainer, is there a, what fight like it? it do you take the hardest? Even today, you're like, man, we should have won that fight. I wish I can go back. Is it the man? Is it the Floyd fight? Like, is there any fight that you had? Because I always thought you and Oscar had the blueprint to beat Floyd, but Oscar kind of ran out of gas and maybe got a little, little, uh, you know where I'm going here. Yeah, Oscar. I mean, he was fighting the fight, the great, the, the right fight early in that fight, but then when he started uh, moving and and. Uh, he was running in one direction, kind of, and just going in a circle. And and with, with Mayweather, you, you just can't do that. And he walked him right into a lot of shots. And he won the late the, the later rounds in that fight. And you know, well, you know, it was a, it was the first fight I trained Oscar for, and uh, it was a lot of fun. He worked hard, and he and he did his best he could. And uh, but then but then I had to had to pack out to fight him. It was True. kind of. No, it was kind of unfair a little bit because I knew him so well, and I know I I know what he has trouble what he has trouble fighting, and I sent Pacquiao right out there with with that knowledge, and uh, you know Pacquiao just uh, ate him alive. It was a good Do you think uh, Oscar will have any trouble with the MMA star Vitor Belfort when they fight in September? You know they talk about that, but they talk about him fighting George St. Pierre too. And George St. Pierre is one of my fighters. And True. George wants True. to fight. George does want to fight one more time, but I just don't know if he's going to fight a, a, a boxing match with Oscar or or, or what right now. But uh, uh, watch out for George. He's All right. All right. Freddie, let's close with this. Of course, the fight that we're here to talk about: Spence versus Pacquiao. Uh, what has to go right? For Manny to get a victory here, I think uh, to, everything needs to go right in this one. We need to be on on, on our track and at our best. Manny needs to go out there and box in and out. Don't stay in the pocket. Uh, just things we know what we have to do, and we're still working on it in the gym. And he's getting better and better every day. We still have a month to go, and. Um, it's going to be a hard month because there's a lot, a lot of work and, and um, man, he's one of those guys. He just works hard every day. Uh, my biggest problem with Manny right now is that I got, I got a strength coach that's taking him to the mountains and running him in the hills every day. And I says, Hey, well, asshole, what are you doing? He says, <laughs> I said, come on. I says, you know, like on, on sparring days, let him sleep in. I said, on non sparring days. Okay. Take him to the hill. But on sparring days, it's just chill, you know, rest. Uh, the sparring is more important to me than running that hill. I know he can run the hill. Shit. Hey, well. uh, 
a, a class act in a, in a, in a great interview as always, Freddie, tell that asshole where he can shove it for sure. Freddie, <laughs> great chatting with you. Can't wait for this pay-per-view Fox pay-per-view Pacquiao Spence. Thanks so much. Good. Best of luck in training camp. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.